In order for Africa to compete in a developing global bioeconomy, the continent must embrace agricultural innovations. This was highlighted during a two-day forum in Nairobi, attended by key dignitaries and agricultural policy makers. One of the key impediments to growth in the agriculture sector is attributable to the development of technologies that fail to be aligned to the needs of the clients and effectively fail to complement national and institutional goals and aspirations. In particular, innovations should be self-perpetuated or to higher level taken up by commercial entities as business. The innovations are expected to yield immense social economic benefits and impact in terms of productivity, income, and sustainability of the environment for the smallholders. I am convinced that such technologies and innovations, if well conceptualized, are what this continent requires. Africa must feed itself. And in fact, this, way, this uh, initiative of scaling up innovation is very critical. One world, no hunger. Africa should have no hunger because we have the potential, we have the land, we have the people, but then, as you have heard here, only 50% of uh, agriculture uh, productivity is, uh, is, is contributed to by what? By innovation. So we must ensure that uh, we stress the technological aspect. We must scale up innovation. The meeting organized by the Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa, better known as FARA, and the German government also established that Africa needs to improve food security and ensure sustainable value chain development. On the continent today, we are spending anything between 40 and 50 billion US dollars per annum. And that's because um, we have close to 1 billion mouth to feed and we are not producing enough. Africa, as a matter of fact, is the largest destination of food aid on the planet, whereas 60% of the arable land on the planet is on the continent, whereas close to 80% of fresh water resources on the planet is on the continent and only 2% of our arable land is still irrigated. So if we are only producing according to the vagaries of the climate, we cannot meet our demands. With agriculture earmarked as an economic engine for Africa, several hurdles are still refraining the continent from achieving its ambitions. Available statistics for the year 2012 indicate that 26% of the untapped arable land for agricultural production in the world is actually in Africa. Despite this huge resource and potential, this continent, together with other developing countries, are hosts to 852 million hungry residents who require constant food support. This underscores the need to continue harnessing and exploring sustainable production technologies and innovative mechanisms to produce more food and fiber to feed the ever-growing population and supply raw materials to agricultural industries that form the bedrock for development of our economies. Money is not everything, by the way. And so I'm not jumping into the question of money, no. Because we've spent more than $150 billion in the last three decades, and we are still where we are. And by the way, we are spending $50 billion to borrow food, but in L'Aquila, 2009, we are looking for $100 billion to bail us out. But every year we are borrowing $50 billion to feed ourselves. So from 2009 till now, six years, that's already $300 billion. The other side of the coin is the policy aspect and the political leadership. And I think things are beginning to take the right course. Um, from 2014, if the leaders say, hey, we're dedicating a whole year to this question of food security, that means something serious is coming. And as organizations strive to find innovative solutions to ensure the continent progresses in the agricultural sector, Kenya is also working to improve the sector a backbone to its economy. Indeed, in pursuance of CADEP agenda, 
the Kenya's Vision 2030, which aims at transforming Kenya to a middle-income and rapidly industrializing country by the year 2030, did identify agriculture as one of the key drivers through which the envisaged target of 10% annual economic growth rate will be achieved. To achieve this, we are committed to ensure that sec the sector is transformed into a modern sector that is commercially oriented, technologically driven, and internationally competitive.